Hello, sixth grade. All right, so now we'll be talking about equivalent ratios. There are different ways to determine if two ratios or rates are equivalent. Take here 10 to 2 and 5 to 1. Now, one way to find out if two ratios are equivalent, this would be our unit rate, okay? So if 10 to 1 can reduce, to five to one, then yes, it is equivalent. Same here, you have 30 to six and five to one. Again, here is our unit rate. If 30 to six can reduce to five to one, then it is equivalent. The second way to find out if two ratios are equivalent is to cross multiply. Here you have 10 to 2, here you have 5 to 1. You cross multiply 10 times 1, which will be 10. You then cross multiply here, 2 times 5 is 10. 10 equals 10, and they are equivalent. So that is another way you can find out if they are equivalent. We'll do it over here. Cross multiply 30 to 1. 30 times 1, excuse me, which will give you 30. 6 times 5 will give you 30. And 30 does equal 30. And so, yes, they are equivalent. Now, there are going to be some cases where you have, you do not have equivalent ratios. So, here's an example. You have 20 miles to five hours equals 45 miles to nine hours. Are they equivalent? So just like I told you, you can cross multiply, okay? When you do cross multiply, five times 45 will give you 225. 20 times nine will give you 180. 225 does not equal 180. So therefore, they are not equivalent. For them to be equivalent, it'll have to be the same number on this side and the same number on that side. We'll try one more. Here you have $21 to three equals $35 to five. So again, we cross multiply. Three times 35 will give us 105. 21 times five will also give us 105. And as you can see, 105 does equal 105, and so therefore they are equivalent. So remember, sixth grade, if you have any questions, please contact me on Edmodo, all right?